agentic schools, you know, title of the yeah. whole thing, is just saying that agency or an agent, agentic engagement, which is a new development in the SDT world, is really is, is summarizing. It's my way of sort of encapsulating and saying, uh, and then actually going to that point of saying agency is the educative factor is when you remove agency, you're removing education is that, you, you know, it's not like like the way that I think the mainstream thinks about learning is that the academics are the thing. And what I'm saying is, no, that's actually secondary. The thing is the agency and that academics is a support to that. It's 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 important in our modern world as a as a pos as part of the learning process, but it is not central. It's peripheral. Uh, what's central is that agency, and that means support for the the needs, the, the having more internal rather than external motivations, and having uh, the engagement be not merely behavioral, but in that agentic way. And that and that gets at an interesting piece about the agency. I'm not sure how much you've read about the agentic engagement framework, but really defining it in terms of it's it's it. Part of the reason it took a while to get the agentic component in place was that the engagement research was dominated by that model of, of behavioral, cognitive, and emotional, and that that was the whole of engagement. Well, that was a very psychological view, very appropriate. But then what agency brings is, is they actually talk about it not as an individual process, Agency is the social process of putting yourself out into the environment in some way, into the learning situation, and 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 therefore it kind of transcends what nor people normally think of psychology as the head and the brain. <laughs> uh, we know it's more, but but this gets at that that truth of like agency really is uh, emerges into you know it, it requires the whole social situation. It's not just it's not just this is why sort of intrinsic motivation as a thing it's like it's not just an in here thing is what we're talking about is something that that yes the motivation needs to be more internal than external or autonomous as a, a comprehensive piece of describing all the positive emotion uh, positive side of that and 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 so taking that and defining it or encompassing it through agency is is the kind of the step i'm taking and I, and I think that that helps bridge some of the gaps between the ways that the, the schools I mainly talk to, democratic schools and, and unschoolers, is talking about why does that work? It works because agency is the thing. But then we can also talk about why the mainstream is less effective than it could be. And then we need to look at what are the barriers to agency in that mainstream. <laughs> This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Berg.